Hey, boss. I came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. No. Oh. I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books to see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. <sighs> More than 50 years I've known him. <sighs> Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. <sighs> Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. When you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. Tough day today, Tom. We gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got you a clean set of wheels. And something special here, if you want it. Frank sees a Lapara, he'll know. We always work. You gotta get those books back before the feds use them against us. Tommy, 
What's the rumpus? Heard any big news lately? Something the Don might want to know. Uh, depends. <laughs> What's it worth to you? Twenty bucks. How about forty? All right, spill. The FBI's in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the Black Cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Always a pleasure, Tommy. Everything okay, Tom? No. No, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. Let on that Councilor Gilatis brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Tom, what's going on?
looks like the place. Take me to those account books, Frank. Shit. They've taken you to the airport, Frank. They're flying him out of state or something. 
fuck. This ain't good. We kept the lid on this so far. Let's get it done quietly and go home. Morello hasn't the honor Most to even show his face for a rat like for you. To nah. Get in the car. So what happens next? Once Morello gives us the books, our accounting guys go through them with a fine tooth comb. Yeah, but won't Salieri's guys you. fly the coop before we're done? That's why we'll round them up. Pin charges on them that we know won't stick, but it keeps them in cells long enough for the scales to tip. This is gonna be <sighs> some day in court. Tax evasion, money laundering, corruption, smuggling, prostitution. Guns blazing, stoolies and tax records. <laughs> it's the way they got Capone. And now is how Ennio Salieri dies in jail. It's a good day, my friend. Once this is over, the whole city's ours. Don Morello's plane is waiting for Coletti in one of the hangars. The FBI hand over Coletti, Morello makes him disappear in his plane. Then those account books bring Salieri to his knees.
Tom. Frank. The Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over, yet? I'm not so stupid, Don. They're safe. Morello was waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. Tell them to get on a plane. Go on, March. Alice, get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, March. For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. You been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. Beautiful day, huh? Uh huh. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came, and to provide access. Please, follow me. the books and covered my tracks. 
Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. Thank you. 